Fergus to the rescue. Summer was almost over. Everyone had been helping load the hay. Farmer Bob looked up at the dark clouds. Better hurry, he said. Looks like we're in for a storm. When the hay was safely stored, Fergus found a comfortable spot in the barn and settled down to sleep. He was much too tired to go back to his kennel. That night, the storm came and rain poured down. Fergus was glad he was warm and safe in the barn. Next morning, Fergus woke to find the barn surrounded by water. Farmer Bob drove up and shouted, Take care of the animals, Fergus. I'll go and see what has happened. Fergus rounded up the animals and hurried them into the barn. He counted everyone. One cow, two ducks, three pigs and four. Where were the hens? Fergus ran outside and called loudly. Woof, woof, woof. In the distance, he heard a faint. He waded out towards the sound until he saw the hen house roof sticking out of the water. And there were three hens perched on top. They were shivering from the cold and looked very scared. Clark! 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 they called. The water was now too deep for Fergus to reach them. He had to find something that would float. He rushed back to the barn. Woof! 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 Fergus told the animals of his plan to rescue the hens. They all agreed to help. All they could find was a rusty bucket, some cooking pots and an old tin bath. They carried them to the water's edge and tied them together with rope. When the makeshift boat was ready, Fergus clambered aboard. With the ducks paddling, he set off to rescue the hens. When the hens saw Fergus, they jumped up and down and flapped their wings. We're here, Fergus! We're here! They clucked excitedly. In no time at all, the hens were safely aboard Fergus's strange boat. On the way back, they also rescued a family of field mice, two very wet rabbits and a squirrel. Farmer Bob was there to meet them. The river's burst it bank, he explained. It's fixed now, so the farmyard should, will soon be back to normal. They went back to the farmhouse to dry off and make buttered toast in front of the glowing fire. Farmer Bob's wife brought them hot chocolate. We think you've earned it, she said. The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.